channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day as usual and I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday with family. In today's video, I am super excited because we are going to be doing the first impressions of this beauty right here. If you guys haven't checked out my Christmas haul, make sure to do so because I picked up this amazingly stunning marble pink St. Laurent envelope bag in the large size and I am over the moon excited about it. As you guys know, if you've been watching for a long time, I have been on the hunt for a pink handbag, but I wanted it to be the right pink handbag and this one came available. So in today's video, I'm going to be recapping how I got this bag. I'm going to tell you the description. I'm going to show you how to wear it. I'm going to show you what it fits. I'm going to tell you my first impressions. So we're going to go over the positives and negatives. And yeah, so if you guys have been on the fence about this bag, I'm hoping that I can give you some first impressions. Now, as you do know, I currently own this bag in black and I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites, but I wanted to do my first impressions on this beautiful marble pink. So without further ado, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And if you want to hear my first First impressions on this beauty right here then keep watching okay so as I stated if you guys have not checked out that Christmas haul make sure to do so you know I had been on the hunt for a pink handbag and I mentioned in that video that Instagram is a really good way to find items that might be on your wish list that are kind of hard to find there was actually another item I mentioned in that video that I got on Instagram but for this bag in particular I was actually following Jacob he is a personal stylist at Saks Fifth Avenue in Boca Raton Florida and this bag was actually on sale at the Saint Laurent boutique within the Saks Fifth Avenue and he posted on his Instagram this retails for $26.50 and then after tax you can imagine how much it would be. I got this bag for under $2,000. So I'm going to say it was around $1,900, maybe like $1,950. I can't really remember after the tax, but it was under $2,000 and I could not believe it. I absolutely love this bag. It is so chic and beautiful. It almost looks like a beige, but it is a marble pink. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I love the black one so much that I actually had the beige color on my wish list. I don't know if I'm going to get that color now, now that I have the marble pink, but it almost can come across as beige because it's like a really really light color and it has the beautiful silver hardware so in today's video the main thing I want to show you guys how to wear it I want to show you what fits and boy can I tell you this bad boy fits a lot and then at the end I'm going to tell you the positives and some of the negatives that I have noticed as well so first let's go ahead like I said the bag does retail for $2,650 it is a very very expensive bag so when I score this for under $2,000 I was so excited. So like I said, if there is a bag you guys have been on the hunt for, make sure to check on Instagram. I know that I have been eagle eye on Instagram looking for a Chanel mini square in the caviar. Oh gosh, that is one of my dream bags. So hopefully one of these times I'll find it. I don't need to find it right now because I'm pretty good with my purchases, but it is a good place to score things. So let's talk about the description of this bag. This is in the beautiful calfskin leather. One thing that I love is this is a really, really durable leather, so you don't really have to be delicate with it. An example of this would be the Chanel Lambskin Classic Flap. I feel like I have to be really delicate with that. You know, if I touch it the wrong way, I could create scratches, but this leather is so durable. You have the chevron quilting here, and then you have the beautiful quilting here. And I have the silver hardware, and that's the thing I really liked because my black bag does have the gold hardware, so even though it's the same bag, um, they're still different. The back of the bag, this is a game changer for me. It has a back pocket that goes all the way down and I love this because this is what I use for my phone. It is a very, very structured bag. The strap here, it has the leather strap. Now keep in mind, this bag is very, very heavy. It weighs about 2.3 pounds empty. So let me go ahead and let me kind of talk about the dimensions of the bag. It is going to be about 12 inches in width 
eight and three quarter inches in height and it's about two and three quarter inches in depth. Now, one thing I do plan on doing in the future is a lot of you have asked me if you could choose between the envelope bag or the Lulu bag, what would you choose? Now, I do own the small Lulu and the medium Lulu. I've done a comparison between those two, but I think I am gonna be doing a comparison between the envelope bag and the medium Lulu because you guys have had a lot of questions and hopefully I can help you guys. I know these bags can be really expensive so if you're anything like me, I really like to watch reviews to kind of get a good idea of the positives and negatives before I pull the trigger and pay the money. So I do plan on doing that in the future. Okay, so getting back to this, it has a snap magnetic closure, which I haven't taken this sticker off yet, but it is a really, really firm snap. So you don't have to worry about it just coming open. There is a zip pocket and then it is just one large compartment this bag can fit a lot that's for sure so this is just beautiful it's chic it's elegant keep in mind it is a really dressy bag that is the one downfall for me is that it is super dressy and with me working from home right now i'm not really going a lot of places so that was kind of the main thing i was on the fence about with getting this and like am i gonna wear it and i'm like eventually things are gonna go back to normal so i will get to wear it but i just think that this is beautiful every time i look at this bag it just makes me happy i don't really hear a ton of people talking about this bag but i love it it is just so stunning i also want to talk about the strap drop so if you have the bag double strap like that it is about a 12 inch drop drop like this is about 21 inches so now let's talk about ways to wear, and I will do mod chats for you guys as well so you can see. You can wear this bag as a short, short shoulder bag like this. This is how I usually wear it. You can also pull the strap and you can wear it as a long shoulder bag. And then another way you can wear it, and this is where, this I don't usually wear it this way, but it is possible. You can wear it as a crossbody. Now for me, I feel like it's a little too large as a crossbody and I definitely feel like it looks better as either a short shoulder or a long shoulder. But the beauty about purses or accessories, you can wear them however you see fit. So that is definitely an option. Okay, so I am about five foot three and I wanna show you how this bag looks on my frame. So first we're gonna start with a short shoulder bag and see how it looks. And I actually think it looks really nice paired with a white top and black bottoms. So that is a short shoulder. Then what you can do, a long shoulder, it comes like right below my hip there. And then let me show you what I mean by crossbody. So you can put it over your shoulder, wear it as a crossbody, and it doesn't look bad, you see, but it is a little big and bulky, but this is definitely another option for you to wear. But oh my gosh, you guys, I just love it. So let me go ahead and do a couple up close views for you. So you can see it almost looks like a beige bag. It's so beautiful. I love the chevron here. I love the quilting. Here is the back of the bag. Here is the side. Let's go ahead and open it so you guys can see what the inside looks like. It's just one large compartment. Really, really beautiful. Um, it might not pick up on camera, but it says Saint Laurent Paris there. But this is just, oh, so beautiful. So now what I wanna do, I wanna go ahead and I wanna show you what fits in the bag. And then after that, we I'm going to tell you the positives and I'm gonna tell you the negatives. Okay, so here is the beautiful bag. I brought out a ton of items to show you so I can really give you guys a good idea of what fits in the bag. I brought all kinds of different size wallets. I have a water bottle. Um, I have my daughter's little Kindle. Now I will tell you, I think this bag would be a little too snug for a laptop so just keep that in mind but it can fit quite a bit so I currently have the dust bag in it so you can see this is just one large compartment so what I want to do I'm just going to start putting some things in so these are I like to use like a lot of popular items that people have this right here is the Louis Vuitton mini pochette so you can put that in there you can fit that vertically in there as you can see which is really nice 
And then I have this beauty right here. This is the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. Um, we'll put that right there. Um, then I also have this little baby right here. This is the Chanel Mini O Cosmetic pouch and this is in the small size and we'll put that vertically like that let's see what else do we have oh here's a good one this right here is the Louis Vuitton agenda this is in the small size and we will put that vertical as well so you can see what I have in there and then in addition what else do we have that I can put in I also have this is my Rosalie, so we can put that right in there, and then we have some room over here. I think we are getting close to capacity. Here is another little wallet. This is the Zoe wallet, so I can shove that down right there. So you can see all that that we have in there. And then it closes nicely, and it doesn't like bulge out at the side or anything. So now that you can see all the wallets that can fit, let me show you about a water bottle. So I do have an Aquafina water bottle. You can put that right on top there. It's a little snug with what we have in it. So let me do this. Let me start to take some stuff out. And then we will slowly some, put some stuff in because I want you to see if a water bottle can fit. So you can take a water bottle. Um, you can put it in there and it will close which is nice see that there so you can put a water bottle that way or you can put it that way i probably just to be safe would put it vertically um so we have a water bottle in here and then let me let me put some other things in here too this right here is the toiletry 19 you guys know i have the toiletry 19 and 15 but let's see if the 19 can fit and yes it does so in here we have a water bottle we have the toiletry we have a water bottle we have the toiletry 19 and then there's some space here so let's also put in this little mini pochette so i don't know why you would need that but you can fit in the toiletry 19 the mini pochette and a water bottle uh, but if you don't want the mini pochette you can put like some wallets so here's the rosalie again here is the uh, Chanel mini O so you can see there is quite a bit of space in here so you've got your water bottle your toiletry 19 your wallet your mini O case so it can fit quite a bit so another item that I want to see if it fits is um, this right here this is the Kuragami from Louis Vuitton this is really cool because you have the large size and then you open it up and there's another size and you open it up and there is a little guy in here so I want to see if this whole entire set will fit okay. so yes you put that in there no problem and then I also want to show you this right here is my daughter's little like Kindle and it has a case and so that will fit as well so I have to tell you guys this bag it's not an issue at all to fit a lot of items as you can see I've tried to pick a lot of the major necessities and it fits more than enough it's got the agenda you can fit the Kuragami you can fit the mini pochette the toiletry 15 the toiletry 19 you can fit a water bottle the only thing I don't think will work is if you put a laptop it will definitely be a little snug so not only is it beautiful but it fits a ton so now that I show you guys what fits let me go ahead and let's go over the positives and the negatives that I found so far. Hey guys, I'm back. I am absolutely amazed at how much this bag fits. So not only is it a beautiful bag, but you can fit all of your necessities, which I think is huge. So my first impressions, let me tell you the positives so far and let me tell you some of the initial negatives. So let's talk about the positives. The positive of this bag, I have to say right off the bat, is how stunningly beautiful and chic and elegant this is. How can you look at this bag and not just think it's gorgeous? I just love the look of it. It's really unique. You don't see a lot of other bags that look like this. It's a really, really nice 
dressy work bag. I love the fact that it has a back pocket. You guys know my obsession with a back pocket. So you can put your phone in the back for really easy access. It has a really, really firm closure, which is really important. So that way you don't have to worry about like walking around and having the bag pop open. That at least is important to me because then you know that your items are gonna be secure. And I mean, do we need to talk about what fits? I mean, oh my goodness, you guys saw, you can fit pretty much everything in this bag. So not only only is it stunningly beautiful but it can fit a ton now let me talk about the initial negatives and again keep in mind that these positives and negatives it kind of depends on the person too and what qualities matter to you one thing off the bat this bag is empty right now and it is a little heavy so keep that in mind it weighs 2.3 pounds without anything in it so that is the one thing that I noticed that when I do wear it even when it doesn't have anything on it it is a bit heavy so keep that in mind this bag even even though I said one of the positives it's a pretty dressy bag that can also be a negative as well because if you're someone that doesn't go into an office or is not really into the dressy style this is a bag that might not fit with your lifestyle you know sometimes it is nice to have a bag that is very versatile that you can wear casual on the weekends that you can also wear to work and this bag does does shout very very dressy but it's okay like I said it's up to your individual style because you can definitely wear casual items and dress this up if you want as well and then one minor negative even though you saw that I could wear it crossbody I don't really think it looks the best crossbody and like for someone like me I love having the, that hands-free crossbody bag so that is something else to keep in mind but those are three negatives that are very very minor and one of those negatives is actually a positive with it being dressy but I have to tell you so far I would recommend this bag. I wouldn't have gotten another one if I wouldn't recommend it. It can fit so much. It's beautiful. I love the back pocket. Oh, I just can't say enough things. But the longer I have it, I will be sure to give you guys an update on it. And if you want to see a comparison between this and the medium size Lulu, let me know and I can certainly do that for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed. I'm so in love with this new bag. It's so pretty. Hopefully restaurants will open soon so I can go out and I can wear this bag on maybe like a nice date with my husband or you know wear it into the office because it is just so beautiful so if you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and I'd love to have you follow me on Instagram I will try to find this bag and link it down below as I stated I did get it on sale but if I can't find this color I will try to find it in beige and black you can't go wrong with this bag it's so incredibly durable so you're not gonna have to worry about like wear and tear on it oh I just absolutely love it thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe and I will see you in my next video. Wish me the best of luck. I'm gonna